Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. Welcome to my channel. My mission is to help people ascend into their brand new light body, the twin flame body, and their romance. How are you today? If this is new to you, please stick around and pay attention. If you like the video, please like and subscribe for more deeper information than you may really be getting. So, how are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about several things you need to know about having a journal journey. Ugh, having a journal, right? <laughs> you can have a journal. Having a journey, which we sometimes call a spiritual journey. What is a spiritual journey? Honestly, it's everyone coming into one convergent point from wherever they started, whether they started with their religion or whether they started with some epiphany or whether they started with meeting someone or they started with self-improvement or they started having anxiety and they needed to fix that or they started on drugs and they started having psychedelic experiences. It's a journey, right? And for some people, they've started this journey in a type of a low level where they're, they're literally starting where they have to start from because it's kind of where they ended things. So they're picking up where they left off. It might be a bad marriage that they have to get out of. It may be a bad job situation. It may be an accident that they have to recover from, right? So in the journey... Journeys are always about learning and growing and the biggest thing ever, direct experience, okay? This is why we can each talk about or read about our own journeys and have some commonalities and yet nobody's experience is exactly the same. It's all going to vary slightly. Now, there is something to know. Your journey kind of goes in stair steps and you will hit a wall at some point. You'll just hit. You'll hit that area, whether you get disgusted and fed up and you're like, you know what, I'm up to here. I can't go any further. Or whether it's a feeling of feeling stuck or you're feeling like you're treading water or it's a feeling like somehow the divine wants you to do something, take some action and you're scared to death. You're literally scared to make a move because you don't know which move, you don't want to screw it up, or you keep waiting and waiting and waiting for some thunderbolt to hit you and make it crystal clear to you. And let me tell you something, on your journey, that doesn't always happen. It's a treasure hunt. And part of the treasure hunt is, like I say, direct experience because it is intended to be a direct experience of your own soul. A direct experience of being loved beyond all earthly measure. And sometimes that is where you get literally picked up and toted. It's like being on a battlefield. Like we could say earth is a battlefield. Love is a battlefield. Someone needs to pick me up like some medic needs to come along, put me on the stretcher and get me off of here. I'm that person. I help you to get it off that old playing field. Now, what else do you need to know about this? There's a lot of bogus baloney information out there, okay? That's just putting it in a nice way because I don't like to talk really nasty. I mean, there's no need for that, even though people have encouraged me to go ahead and drop F-bombs. I'm not going to do it, okay? Not here. It's not that I've never because, shall we say, even though we've been the saints, we're no saints, okay? We're here to live and living in several level vibrations. Hey, you got to do what you have to survive sometimes, right? Everyone has. Everyone has somehow, whether it's this life or a past life. What's that? You didn't have a past life? Well, stick with me because you're going to discover that, yes, you have and it will show you what your part in it has been. And that may surprise you, but it may also enlighten you and, again, give you the direct experience of what you did when you were there, what you endured, how you participated, how you were victimized. 
And that is a picture that speaks much more than a thousand words. So what about misinformation? This is something where fear lives. And sometimes the fear is not huge mortal combat fear. I mean, a lot of you would be like, oh, I'm ready. I could do mortal combat fear. I can, you know, like I've got my weaponry. I've got my psychic defense. I've taken a class in this, right? I've learned to fend off my family. They're toxic. I have a toxic boss. I'm like really good at it, right? No, I'm talking about the fear of not taking action. I'm talking about the fear of hesitancy. I'm talking about the fear of loneliness. I'm talking about the fears of, you know, angry. I'm talking about the fear of having to go to that slogging job that you flip and hate. You can't stand it anymore. You don't know how to resign. Is this hitting home? Let's go a little further. Maybe you need real changes in your life. Maybe you look around at this chaos and you're saying, how can I ever rise above the chaos? Aha. With your light body, because that's what it's supposed to do, is quite readily provide you the lift off when you need it. Now, when other people need to abuse you, when you need it, when you need it the most, that's when love is supposed to rush in and like go like, woo, okay, let's get you right over here, right? Something's happening. All of your senses are like bells and whistles. And you're able to remain as calm as a cucumber and be like, I know what I got to do. And it's not coming from a place of complacency or coldness or resignation. It's coming from a place of love. Now, what else is it that, you know, you really do seek on this journey? Okay, because this is when people get disappointed on this journey and they forget that ultimately it is about the deepest passionate romance ever, right? It's easy to forget about it. Just go bury yourself in astrology. It's easy to forget about it. I'll just go listen to another card poll. How can you actually evoke a feeling without another person's body right there? Aha, uh -huh. I do that. In fact, people when they work with me have been known to have those experiences and to be able to recreate them until they've actually met the person they're supposed to meet. Not meeting someone who will yet again hurt them, not meeting someone who will yet again ghost them, but really up-leveling so that it is a quality person willing to be committed and passionate and romantic, who's totally into them. Who doesn't want that? And where it's a two-way street and not the other way around. So if you are really wanting to get where you're going, no matter how you've come here on your journey, no matter how you found out about this topic, join us. The links are below. Have something of a new level of experience. Feel what it's supposed to feel like. And let's up level. The more people that we up level, this goes like dominoes. And it can really benefit other people. It can benefit your family, you, your colleagues. You'd be surprised how much that, that ripple effect can actually do without you having to have a confrontation about it. Isn't that nice? Okay, so please look for the links below and reach out for some real quantum help. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.